Tonight, Anna Rood is going to take us into a deeper dive and tell us more about designing with real data. Please welcome Anna Rood. I have Project Comet open here, and I have a mobile app design. And you can see there are a lot of repeated items. It's tedious to select them and duplicate them. And if you want to change one, you have to change everything. So as you saw yesterday in Comet, you can quickly select a group of items, hit the Repeat Grid button, and you get these green handles. And when you drag them out, you get a bunch of duplicate items. But even then, you see a lot of mipsum. You see placeholder content. It's not easy to type and edit each one of them. You have to go and type out, think of fake names, fake data to type in. It's never real. But with Comet, it's actually easier. So there's a data panel, and you can there's a built-in data set pre-baked into the app for common cases. So I'm going to select this thing here and say name. And I'm going to get a random list of names. What? If I hit this again. I'm going to get another set of names. So it's different each time. Same goes for city. Now, this list is already looking better than before. Uh, but this is pre-baked data. What about your own data? So I have a simple text file here with a bunch of names. I can just drag them on and drop it onto the text item. And in one <laughs> click, data just fills in. I have another screen here. It's a common menu item in a mobile app. And again, I can go and select here. And this time, I'll go to the Web tab. And I actually have a Google Sheet loaded here. So my data can live in the cloud. And one click, it comes over. Now, what's interesting is that you could think if you have a localized version of your strings in a different language like German, one click, I can see that my design is a little broken. There's an edge case. So I can just move it. Make sure it looks good, click back, click back again, and quickly find that edge case in my design and fix it. Even this, <laughs> to me personally, Project Comet has always been very visual and play playful. So I wanted to take it one step further. You can type in any URL into this data pane. And as you move your mouse over, it's going to identify repeated items in the web page. So for example, if I click on this, all the names from Behance come over. I can click on the circle, and all the images, again, at the same Woo! position in the web page come over. And to make it more accurate, I can click on tags. And if you look at this design, it actually looks so much better than the original placeholder lorem if something I had, right? You could go to your own organization's website and fill data in. And just to finish off my demo, I have a far looking, better looking sample. And I'm going to go to stock.adobe.com, if I can type right on stage. <laughs> and I'm going to search for Yosemite. I don't think the stock team has seen this demo. So, <laughs> so in one click, beautiful images just flow into my design. Wow. And <laughs> what is Interesting is that I can just duplicate the repeat grid, drag out another column, edges spacing, increase it a little bit more. Again, I, this, this for the iPad, so I want a different set of images. Again, I don't need to think much, just type whatever I want. Once it's loaded, one click, and I have that in, into my design. So wow. if, you, if I zoom out, you can actually see that both versions of the design are there. And real data makes your design come alive. Thanks. Wow. Thank you, Anna Rose.